Hey, it's Lucky, and today we're doing a new Node review. I'm somewhat known as a Node connoisseur myself, making these videos, and today in the new update, the 4.4 update, we got ourselves a new Node, the Look at 3D Node. Now this is an absolute blessing. As you guys might know, uh, IK Notes for inverse kinematics in skeletal animations has been deprecated for quite a while, and now we got not, I would say, a solution, but definitely a step in the right direction. This note is super powerful, as you can see. It looks a lot like IK. It doesn't work exactly like IK, but I'll explain more about it in a second. I've set up a couple of these demo scenes. We're gonna run through the note, add it to your library so you can use it in your projects. Uh, it's a very powerful one. So let's get into it. So the note we're taking a look at is the look at modifier 3D. It was introduced in 4.4 and it's got this little uh, introduction video in the update page. And here it's uh, stated to replace the deprecated skeleton IK 3D. It specializes in making characters look in a certain direction, but it's definitely not only useful for that. So what the node does is you apply it to a skeleton, an animation skeleton, and it allows you to rotate one of the bones in a direction of another object. So for this example, I have uh, its spine node here uh, looking at this ball. And if you run this scene, you can see that when we grab this ball and we move it around, it keeps its animation. This is a set animation from Mixamo looking and shooting, but it is rotated at that ball, which allows for animation blending sort of, but it's super simple solution for a very complicated problem. And it doesn't require any code. This is just one node set up. You can have these beautiful blended animations. It can be a super nice solution for a lot of problems that we had with skeletal animation. Let's move to a simpler example so I can show you how the node uh, is structured. Here I just have my little character and it's using its head bone to look at this ball. It's a super simple uh, skeleton. You can see right there barely but you can see it's just arms, head and a spine. And when you go into the node let's run down Steve's parameters so you know what everything does. So the node needs to be a child of a skeleton. So here I have my skeleton rig and then we'll have to look at modifier 3D. And then in these properties, you're gonna need to set a target. This is what the bone is gonna look at. So I just have this little ball selected here. Then you're gonna select your bone name. So the bone you wanna rotate. It's forward axis. So what means uh, in front of the bone. So in this case, it's C positive. You can see by a little Z positive gizmo. And what axis you wanna rotate on and I want to rotate on the Y axis, so it rotates its neck. Then it also allows for secondary rotation. This is, uh, let me grab the target. This is so you can see right now it's not only rotating on the Y, it's also looking down a little bit. You can enable or disable that depending on what kind of bone you're using. Then you can offset the origin. So right now it's looking from the bones position to the target position. But say for example you want to use weapons and you want to do from the eyes and you want to rotate the arms you can here offset by another bone or by his uh, external node even and you can also add transform offset so here for example now it's looking left of the node in some specific cases this might be very helpful and i'll actually show you one use case in another scene in a moment and you have the safety margins this is just how much uh, it can offset before it actually starts rotating just in case you don't want to have it completely locked on the target, but you want to have a little margin to it. Then you also have interpolation. This is also very, very nice. It's so you can uh, add a little easing into the rotation. So say your character is not looking at anything and then you set the target. Uh, it doesn't just snap to it, but it uh, eases in there. So now if the easing set to 0 0.3 seconds, you can even choose your easing curve. So you can have it nicely animated to the target that it's looking at without being super snappy. Then here you also have uh, angle limitations. This is of course very nice for a neck because you do not want to rotate uh, 360. As you can see, it can only look to his shoulder, like almost there where like the natural rotation of the uh, neck ends. And with this limitation, you can set your angles so you can uh, keep the bones from moving to points that they should not. All right, so this is the most basic example I've set up. And this is the ideal situation where the uh, spine is completely straight and all the bones are perfectly aligned and there's no other animation 
uh, messing with your transforms. So here Node will be a perfect solution and will work every time. We're going to move into a little bit more complicated uh, solutions so you can see how you can tweak the Node to make it more viable for your uh, application. The second rig I've set up is this first person hand rig. And as you can see, it's still a very basic skeleton, just one bone for the fore or for the upper arm, lower arm and one bone for the hand. And then I have these targets which the hands move to and you can see, ooh, feels a lot like IK, right? But it isn't really IK. All these bones are just looking at specific points and they're solving to give a solution that feels like IK in verse kinematics. For this example, the setup is a little more complicated. Let me show you. I have three look at modifiers here per arm. So one for the elbow. So the forearm is looking at this ball or, or the upper arm is looking at this ball. The forearm is looking at this ball and then the hand is looking at the final ball. And moving these three points around can uh, change the pose of the rig during its animation. So this is for the forearm. This is the hand if you want to rotate it or move it. And this last one is for the elbow. And these are just set up exactly the same. I'm just selecting the elbow target and the appropriate bone. And this allows you to super easily pose and animate rigs in Godot. Like imagine this with a first person camera. You can just have your uh, weapons glued to these balls. And you can just move around those weapons and the arms will automatically follow. Super nice addition. I'm so glad this is finally here because IK can be quite a struggle and this is such an easy out of the box solution. This is a little bit more complicated example but you can see it's still very easy to set up and it works pretty much perfect unless you start pushing its boundaries. And the last example I want to take a look at is a little bit more complicated and this is with a set animation. So here I have this Rifleman from Mixamo and we're actually going to run this scene so it animates and then go into that awesome new freeform camera that was also introduced in 4.4. And now let's grab that target. Let's move its transform around a little. And you can see it is still looking at the target, but it is not perfect anymore. That's because we got that uh, set animation intervening with this look at transform. So here you're gonna need to tweak those settings a little bit to uh, get a nicer solution. So why does this make it more complicated? As you can see, the animation itself is already twisting the bones. So they already have a set rotation. The spine is no longer straight like the neck here. The spine is already a little bit uh, rotated and animated. So we cannot cancel out those rotations perfectly with that look at. So we're gonna need to tweak it a little bit. And how I did this was using that offset. I'm moving the offset target a little bit to the left so that rotation cancels out right there. And I'm also moving it a little up so it's looking straight at the ball. And so visually it solves quite nice and it does look like he's look, uh, aiming at the ball but it does get a little wonky. You can see those offsets do not always solve perfectly. So this would be very nice for like an enemy if you just want to have him looking at you, shooting in your general direction. Nobody's going to see that couple of degrees offset. But this would not be a perfect solution if you're moving a first person camera into its head, for example, and you can really see those offsets. But still, it's such a nice and easy out of the box solution, solving a problem that was very complicated to solve before in Godot. And it's actually so out of the box that we can just grab this rifleman, duplicate it a bunch of times. And because all those nodes and anchors are already set uh, in that loop modifier, it works instantly with more actors. And you can see they're all aiming at the ball. Look at that. No IK, just one node tweaking one bone. And you can get such a powerful result already. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Use this node, add it to your library. It can be a super useful tool when working with animations, and especially for enemies. And this could even be a solution for VR hands. Just map those controllers to those balls and you have perfect VR hands. So yeah, super powerful tool. Very glad to see it here. Uh, play around with it, use it. I highly recommend it. That was all I wanted to share with you guys today. Hope you got something out of this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.